welcome to Sheep World. All right, guys, fine. I am sorry to disappoint you. We're not going to Sheep World. However, where we are going is much better than a couple of sheep. Who needs fluffy four-legged freaks? We are going to a beachside to go get some lunch, and then we're heading to where we are staying tonight, which is a place called Waipu. That's right, I said Waipu. It's actually spelled W-A-I-P-U. But for now, we are coming up to an epic spot called Mangawai, and this is known for like a holiday kind of beach towny kind of thing. But basically, we're gonna stop off here, find some lunch, have a look around, and then we'll head up to our batch where we're staying. We've got a really cool little cabin, and we'll check out the scenery. And the route from here to the beach is quite nice, but the route from the beach to the cabin should be very twisty and fun. And of course, as well, just in general, I'm gonna be making the most of the sun, even though it's not too hot today. Just in general, because in about two weeks, I'll be heading back to London for a month over Christmas. So I'm gonna do the whole of December back in London, which for me, awesome, gets to see family. Oh, Mrs. Tube here gets to see, well, she gets to see the family too, but also gets to see London for the first time. So it's quite a bit of a fun, exciting trip coming. And I will do a cool Christmas video, but for now, let's stick to the task in hand. Let's find us some cool views, some lunch and a batch. And what the hell are you doing? Ah, oh, gardening. I haven't seen it being done that way in a long time. And it's just made me remember as well, I forget heading back to London means that it's winter, which means I'm assuming for most of you guys watching this, it's winter for you guys. So I'm wondering, are you guys storing your bikes over winter or being that it's now coming into summer in New Zealand because we live backwards as the Simpsons have shown many a times. So the toilets go backwards in here. To combat homesickness, we've installed a device that makes them swirl the correct American way. Tell you let's park up and have a look around. But look at it, look at the sand. But wait till you guys see what's over this hill. Let me find somewhere to park up and we're gonna have a look. That was it. These little things amaze me. The amount of wind this thing can take. So this thing was like really battling. Where do we park? All right, let's put this thing away, get back on the road and head to where we will be staying this evening. And hopefully it's as cool as it looks on the photos. Well, I think we got lucky guys. I think we're gonna have a clean run with no cars in front. I'll try not to go too fast because I don't wanna catch up to anybody. It's quite nice having the road to myself. It's like riding through like mountain ranges. Like, look at this stuff. I don't know if the camera is doing its justice, but these things are pretty damn high. And like from a visual perspective, from what I'm seeing when I'm riding, it looks very enclosed, like it's really awesome. It's almost like I'm riding through a real life Instagram reel. Twisties for the next two kilometers. We will take it. The only negative I can think of to living out somewhere like this is you have to drive miles to go to a supermarket. Oh look, someone's left us a nice free seat. Yeah, boy. What do you reckon? I don't know. How, how do you lose this? Hoi. So that's enough for the stopping. Let's head to our destination. Mate, how is that for a road? But this would be one of those roads where you could get the drone to follow you or do top down shots or have it facing while you're coming at it. And don't worry, madam, I'm not gonna do it to her again. I'm not gonna get the drone out just to get a cool drone shot. 
So I'll let you insert your imagination here and pretend you can see some really cool angles of us coming down this long road. I'm sure she's fed up with stop starting. And if you guys enjoy this content, she's partly to thank also because she allows me to go out and do what I like because some of these videos do not take 10 minutes to film because I have to get to the location and then start filming and then come back and then edit. So some days, depending on how much editing and how much filming is involved, this could be like a multiple day project by the time I actually go out, film, bring the files back, take the files off the computer, edit the files, upload the files. It's quite a long process. Why poo? Well, at least we've made it to the general place of where we're staying. I know they say the M209 is a bit like a dirt bike, but I'm telling you, it doesn't feel like one on here. Slowly does it. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't factor in this uh, this driveway when I booked it. But hey man, it's part of the adventure. You want to come out to the sticks? You've got to learn to ride in the sticks. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. I could have just got a hotel, but then a hotel wouldn't have been as much fun. Right, I think we're here-ish. Just got to make up this tiny, a little bit of a skip. What a bike. Imagine if I did all that just to fall over on this bit of gravel here. Oh, come on, man. Right. I see, I see, I see. And that is our little cabin down there. So he reckons you can ride the bike down there. But nah, I'm going to leave it up here. Ain't no chance I'm going down there. A little dog. Hello. You made a friend. What's up, man? You see it getting a bit skippy when we were coming up. I was like riding the clutch and the, like the grip on the finest line. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to ride down here. There you go, that's all we need for one little night. So here we are at the little tiny cabin. Not much to show you guys. There's a shower and bathroom through there. Little tiny space in here. Little sofa, we get a free dog. I don't know who that guy is, but he's, he's pretty friendly. And then up here, just like you used to do when you were a kid, that is the little floor bed. But overall, that's all we need considering we are only here for one night. So we're gonna go from here and check out the local beaches and things, heal some time, go check out the local town, grab some dinner, come back, have a sleep, and then we'll be up first thing in the morning and heading back out back on the road. So what more do you need? Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. As I said before, I always really appreciate it. And thank you for coming on this little journey with us. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, ride safe, and in the meantime, bye-bye.